Sunday, December 17th, on this video right here that I've been editing, apparently YouTube don't let me edit anymore. So that's where it's going to stand at 20 minutes and 14 seconds. I was going to do more. I was halfway through, but apparently dropping. This one keeps dropping. Hey, let me get, let me jump right in real quick into the constellation. This is Halley's Comet, the year 12, 12, 15, 31. I put it in the night mode because it's easier to see, but basically the stars in the same area. So we have Halley's Comet, 12, 12, 15, 31 in the constellation hydra the snake a lot of you know about Hy hydra you know with the captain america movies uh referencing that also hercules okay we had venus and the sun in sagittarius on that day Sagittarius, the hercules constellation hercules crown and Othesius and lara so that's basically where Halley's comet was on that date in the head of the snake hydra let's do a little 101 on hydra but before we get there it just confirms 1531 Halley's Comet was there, was above, and this site here has a lot of information. I follow this when uh, when I'm studying Comet, and it says 1531's appearance, so it, it was present. Here, a little mythology on Hydra, this is what the constellation looked, Hydra, a snake. Hydra was a famous water serpent with nine heads, killed by Hercules in his second labor, second of his twelve labors. Legend of that area where they killed their bridegroom on the wedding night. Bridegroom. A man on his wedding day or just before or after the event. Okay, so we got a reference to that. This constellation here, constellation represent the fem feminine Hydra. The other, this one name right here, is another constellation near the South Pole. So this Hydra that we're, we're looking at is basically represent presented it as a feminine snake with nine heads. That's what I was referring to. So there we have it. We have more information on the constellation Hydra and Hercules. Hydra was the monstrous offspring of Echidna, the mother of monsters. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so that's uh so that's what was overhead. Haley's comet in the head of a snake, Hydra. So now we know a little bit about Hydra and the way she depicted it. Looks like um, something that stuck out to me was the way killing her bride, bridegroom during and after. Sounds like the court system that we're dealing with today. Wow, this is, this is heavy duty. I'm going to drop it right here because I'll start using my imagination. The Hydra. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Hercules had a... Hercules had to cover his face with a piece of cloth to not inhale the toxic gases. Heracles enlisted the aid of his nephew, Lawless. However, despite this assistance, the two would still struggle to slay the beast. But every time Heracles cut off one of its heads, two would grow back in its place. Sounds like uh, modern day, doesn't it? For the guys, you guys getting the drift here? I mean, this this is crazy. The family reference is there. It's a feminine snake, like with the what we're dealing with, the radical feminist. So there we have it, the Hydra, basically a man killer. And they say we have it easy. The men have it easy. No, they don't. So we're going to have to have the mentality of her. The only way we're going to survive is that's the system that we're fighting from all the way back from the beginning of hope. Some of this makes some sense. This is a big piece of revelation. Until next time.